episode 22. I told that it's an outright lie that CCTV DVR rolled down due to the turn of Seawall Ferry. Today, I will put director Lim Yushiol additionally on the stage. He belongs to 416 record team and has been recording all the matters related with Seawall Ferry. Director Lim said that he saw Papa as episode 22 and would testify in relation to the very DVR based on videos, etc. I will show you a photo which was not disclosed in episode 22. A female person stands bending her knees. There were two notebooks on the information desk at that time. One of them is leaned on the wall and, when considering the situation, it would be impossible for the DVR to jump out of this rack and roll down at that time. Did anybody modify CCTV information before salvage? For installation of a DVR, DVR is pushed on the sliding plates like a sliding drawer, the cover is attached, and screws are fastened. Each input port covers 16 channels of cables. 64 channels of cables are connected with 4 input ports, and the ports are firmly fixed on the main body with bolts. In addition, output ports on the main body are independently connected with terminals. A port covers many cables as shown. See while Ferry was in the sea for two months, both threads must get rust and must be firmly stuck on nuts. Therefore, the bolts could not be easily loosened. The diver said that he separated each of these cables and separated DVR but it's a lie. He said that he loosened the bolts with his gloved hands but his word is absolutely unbelievable. The diver says that he is going to search section CR-16. As shown, each action of a diver is reported. If a diver ascends carrying a material, the personnel on the boat repeat the situation in duplication. If a diver is in the water, the sound to glide against or rub a material is heard very loudly. I went to the site on April 16th when the accident occurred and filmed all the searching activities on a barge. 8 to 15 veteran PDs participated and filmed all the scenes related with the accident of Seawall Ferry. On June 22nd that the very DVR was salvaged, fog was as thick as finger ends were not seen and, on such a day, helicopters or boats cannot approach the site and no work is usually performed. In addition, a World Cup soccer game with Algeria was held on the day and most of persons were focused in the game. All the important works were performed with attendance of the family task force at that time. Therefore, all the important works were filmed but, on that day, their work was performed without any notification of work schedule in advance and we already almost finished the daily work. When we were taking supper, Somebody other than the Navy or the Coast Guard told us that a material was salvaged and we hurried to film the material which was already put in a sack. The fog was thick as shown on that day. If a material is salvaged, it is washed with water. This is a salvaged DVR. It's too clean to be deemed to be salvaged from mud after two months, isn't it? When such an important material would be salvaged, a prior briefing was required but no briefing was provided on that day. I think that, probably, due to the mistake of the Coast Guard, we could know that the DVR was salvaged at that time. The material was packaged as shown. We informed the family task force of the fact and they ran to the site. However, DVR disappeared and, through a National Assembly member, we could obtain the material. A mutually accepted professional disassembled the DVR. The inside was very clean, too. 
If the DVR was buried in the mud for two months, it could not be as clean as shown. When rubbing it with a finger, the finger was smeared with nothing. After obtaining the DVR, there might be no opportunity to modify the information. As we did not see the situation that the DVR was salvaged from the sea, the family task force raised a suspicion and asked the Navy to disclose the video. On the next day, we went to watch the video. The diver is descending now. This is the diver who performed the work. The diver was going to the rack at the back of TV. He said he found a material and thought it would be the computer but was an A4 paper box. Breathing sound is only heard. There is no communication. Nothing is found through the camera installed on his helmet. He said that he separated the ports attached at the back of the computer by loosening each of bolts with his hands. However, divers perform their work with hands after wearing rubber gloves and cotton gloves. It's not believable that he loosened the bolts with his gloved hands. He said that he separated cables from the back of the main body but the main body was fixed on the wall and he could not approach the back of the main body. Therefore, a member of the family task force said that the main body was fixed on a wall and asked how he could approach the back of the main body but the diver answered that the DVR was put on the floor. The diver said that he reported the situation and separated the DVR but no communication was made at that time and no visually recognizable video was available for the situation. The only recognizable video showed that the diver was bringing the DVR after the inside work. During the time that the Navy asserted that they performed the work, I was filming the situation and such work was not found. The chief orders the divers not to make any comment. In proper situation, the Navy performs work with repetition of divers' words as shown. A camera is installed on the helmet and a diver wears two sets of gloves as shown. I think that they salvaged the DVR, deleted important information from the DVR, put the DVR in the sea again, and then salvaged it out of the sea as if it was first salvaged.